folks, I'm, uh, this is going to be a video instruction for one of the problems that's uh, in the activity that we had last week. So, uh, uh, you see here a shell structure, a shell part which is made of uh, several f uh, sheet metals folded. However, the thicknesses are different. And the other thing is that the bottom, the bottom circle's edge is clamped, and these two uh, uh, flaps are subjected to 50 psi. Therefore, because of the symmetry, uh, we have uh, we need to model only one quarter of this model. However, for the sake of illustration, I will model the whole thing, but draw it so that it can easily be cut in uh, uh, with a split command in uh, in wireframe and surface design and uh, move from this point on. You can model one quarter of that to begin with, but as I said on purpose, I'm not going to do it like that. Okay, so let's uh, start CATIA right there and uh, on a convenient plane, for example, on this vertical plane, I will sketch uh, the cross uh, the, the cross section of that, uh, that piece, so uh, something like that. I'm going to clean it up in a minute. Right there, right there, right there, and go horizontally so that we can, uh, 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 yeah. So uh, let us use uh, big symmetry. So uh, the left edge control, uh, right edge control, the middle axis. Let's make it uh, symmetric. Okay, this left point control, right point control, middle axis. Let's also make it symmetric. All right. Uh, let's put some dimensions here. So we want this thing to be four. Uh, this thing to be four. Uh, that edge to be four. The four. Four. Okay, good. We now exit, and let's go to wireframe and surface design or generative uh, generative shape design, whichever you want. So I'll go to wireframe and surface design, third one from the bottom, and extrude it in both directions. Extrude this in both directions as a mirror extent, uh, two in each direction, so that uh, there we are. I can hide this uh, sketch also. There we are. Okay, now uh, let us uh, uh, draw our circles. So on this plane, uh, on this top plane, we'll sketch. Uh, let me put my uh, circle and center it exactly. This, this looks good. So uh, uh, based on this drawing, it is centered. So let's give it dimension. I think the radius diameter of that was one, if I'm not mistaken. All right, uh, exit. Okay, and now we can use a split. Split, read this thing carefully. It says element to cut is this. Cutting element is that. All right, let me see if I can use a mirror for this. Mirror, I, I, actually, I don't think I can mirror this, so I may have to do the same thing on that side. I couldn't find mirror in uh, wireframe and surface design. That, that's fine. So uh, let's see now. On this other plane, I will sketch. Same story. A circle. There, right in the middle. Okay. And diameter one. Exit. Once again, use a split element to cut. Cutting element. And this is fine. Excellent. And then finally, at this uh, on this plane. So on this plane, we will draw a circle. Same, same thing. Give it a diameter. Oh, not this. Diameter, one inch. Exit. Uh, split. Element to cut. Oops, what happened here? Cancel. Let's try it again because that, that thing was selected. So I got confused. So, uh, uh, element to cut, cutting element, and we say okay. Very good. 
Now, why don't we actually apply material to this? So, uh, where is it? Uh, apply material. I don't know what it was, probably steel. So, metal, uh, steel on that entire part. Okay, good, good. Now, in this problem, I don't have to join these uh, surfaces because of the way I made it or extruded, it's already joined. But if you did, if you did a extraction, you drew a solid, you made solid and extracted the faces. Uh, these are all separate faces that have to be joined together. I don't have to worry about that, so uh, I'll just let it go. Now we're going to split uh, this geometry uh, two ways so that we can uh, get the uh, one quarter of the model. Once again, split. Uh, element to cut is that surface, and the cutting element is that vertical plane in the middle. doesn't matter which side we pick. So there we are, and one more time, split, uh, element to cut, cutting element, and it doesn't matter what. Now these sketches, we don't need it, so we can hide anything that we don't like. Hide this, and uh, that's other circle, I'm gonna hide it. Hide, I don't know, did I hide it? Uh, yeah, looks good. Okay, very good. Now we're pretty much done here, so uh, we go to Generative Structure Analysis. Right away we mesh it. I'm not concerned about the mesh size and the mesh conversion, so just, I'm just showing the process behind this. Okay, uh, let me see now. Uh, there we are. Okay, so let's do shell elements on that entire face, entire shape. Uh, I'll make it a little bit smaller so it's more respectable, 0.3, and then uh, I will use linear also. So if you want to see the mesh, right-click Mesh Visualization, and you can see, there we are, okay? All right, uh, so uh, I will deactivate this, this mesh to proceed with the rest of the problem. Okay, what do we have here? The, this this edge is clamped, so use a clamp that edge. Okay, that's completely done. Now we use planes of symmetry. This, this, th these four four edges, one, two, three, four edges, are in the YZ plane. So we use user defined the strength. Uh, so these edges, one, two, three, four, they are in the YZ plane, so there is no displacement in X direction and rotations are exactly the opposite. Very good. And this edge happens to be in the XZ plane, so we uh, user defined. Uh, this plane is in the XZ plane, so there's no displacement in Y and rotations are opposite. Okay, that takes care of the symmetry restraint. Uh, that face is subjected to 50 PSI. So uh, on that face, 50 psi, direction is correct. It's pushing down, okay, very good. And uh, pretty much it. So uh, let us uh, save this thing. Let's go save this file, save management. What is that? File, save management, uh, save as. So do the analysis so that the other one is also saved. Desktop, uh, okay, I'll talk, uh, make, a, make a new folder here. Where is it? Okay, and I'll call it the uh, folded sheet, folded sheet structure. Okay, good. And everything is going to go in there. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot is that first of all, if you try to run this thing, it will bomb out. Let me show you how because. Thicknesses were not defined, so we can see that. So, uh, well, if I if if I try to run this right there, it'll come back and say that the thicknesses are def are not defined. So anyway, uh, this is the 2D property. I'll click on it and I select this. Notice that the proper uh, let's just give it a minute. Oh, I think my computer went into coma. Oh boy. Let's wait. No, okay, it did. Oh, there, steel, and the default thickness of 0.1. Now, it, it, the, it, because this is a single surface, 
or if it was joined and we put a uh, thickness on it, the entire sheet uh, is going to be 0.1. Now, this is fine, except that I know that the, uh, the vertical one is actually 0.2, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see for a second. The vertical one is 0.2. So what we have, we're going to leave this thing the way it is. There's no problem. But if you go to Properties, right-click, select this, right-click, it says Local Mesh Property, you select it, and you select the vertical one, now you can change the uh, thickness of that vertical one to be point, uh, point 0.2. Uh, this, okay, point 0.2. That one, right? Yeah, point 0.2. So the horizontal plate, from the original, uh, from the original uh, uh, 2D properties, point one, but the vertical one is uh, point two. Now, in the book, I uh, use uh, in the book I use a different approach to these problems. I uh, I don't join these things, so uh, I create a connection between these faces and and make that connection either rigid or fastened. Fasten is more appropriate, of course, and then. Uh, so these, these, these separate surfaces talk to each other and they have different thicknesses. But here, that's okay. This is the easy way out. Uh, we're going we're gonna to run it now. First of all, save it. And now run it. I'm sure it's going to run this time. I'm not worried about the quality of the, of the, the results because uh, this is just showing you the, the process as opposed to actually... Uh, uh, the accuracy so you can see that and you can animate it and uh, there we are so the bottom is this hole is clamped and then uh, this uh, horizontal plate is subject to pressure and because of symmetry or applied symmetry condition and everything looks good all right folks so this is it and uh